Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Fortress Locksmith. So, today I thought I'd do a little gangster video with you. So, I purchased this off eBay, okay? Uh, so it's the Yale version of the Union 2234E or 2134E, whichever, okay? So I'm gonna show you the importance of having decoders and the potential of what you can do with them, basically. Uh, so obviously, I don't know what the call to this lock is, so hopefully we're gonna use the GJ Locks Union decoder to open it, all right, and hopefully cut a key and make it on spec. So the reason it's important is there's that many different versions of this lock, okay? So we've got a Union version, a Chubb version, a, a Yale version with the stepped high plate, an old Union version with the stepped high plate, so you can see that, okay? If you can see them, okay? Now basically, they're all identical internally, all identical internally. And I teach the boys this on the class, the reason why it's so important to decode these Basically, because these share a kind of a different footprint than any, every, any other mortise lock, as in the forend is longer than any other mortise lock out there, uh, more or less. So basically, if you were to set this out and put a different lock in, you're going to be left with a fucking gap. It's not going to look very nice. Unless you're Andy Perry, it would make it good. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's try and fucking open this lock. Not much of a locksmith if I can't open this, am I? So... Let's get this open. Let's see. Let's see what he's been doing. So that's down there. Okay. Oh, so I'm going to try and do this without actually ah, this well. without actually looking at the keys. If that makes sense. So I'm going to keys up there. Turn it. Yeah, bolt smooth. Keys up over there. Okay. So hopefully we're going to give you a, a video, it might go on for a while, okay, because sometimes when you decode a lot, you have to run through a few different combinations. Yeah, so that's sexy that, that is sexy. So, GJ's Union Decoder, I've got it out. I've already prepped my makeup keys, and you're saying keys, why would you need keys? Okay, because Uncle Seppi knows a few fucking tricks. So I've got them ready, what basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to dip a bit of talcum powder on them, okay, a bit of talcum powder. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is actually see if there's any number ones in there, all right? Very easy to do. I teach this on the class. Turn, out we go. Let's have a little inspection. No, doesn't look like there's any number ones to me. No, can't see any. Right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to get a little chart that I've made up myself. Just makes life easier. So that will fit in your union decoder if you come and do the course, all right? So bolts to the left. What we're going to do is take a read of the rear of the levers. Now, I must stress this, that when you are using your plasticine reader key, or whatever you want to call it, that you get it absolutely perfect, absolutely perfect first time. If it looks a little bit higgledy-piggledy or the plasticine's not quite straight, just fucking take five minutes and start again, okay? So, I'm going to make sure the curtain's free to move in that direction, which it is. Fine. Okay, so in we go, nice and gentle. Careful not to disturb the plasticine. There you go. I'm going to one firm press and down. Now take your time taking it out, guys, for fuck's sake. Oh! 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 Got some sexy marks there, guys. We have got some sexy, sexy, sexy marks. Okay? So, just having a little inspection of them. Okay. I'm going to consult my little reader chart. I'm going to consult my reader chart. So definitely not a two. Let's have a look. I think we've got a six or a seven in there. Yeah, we've got a six or a seven in there. So what I am going to go with is I'm going to go with a five first. Then I'm going with either a six or a seven. Then that looks to me like a four. Okay. Then that also looks like a six or a seven. Then I'm going to go obviously with a four. Now this mark here is slightly less than that one. So what I'm going to say is that first one is a seven. I'll just fucking rub that out, whatever the thing is. That first one is a seven, and the 
position for it is a six, okay? So that's what that's our core we're gonna load up with first, all right? Five, seven, four, six, four. Okay, now the beautiful thing about this tool is if you get to the cord, it opens like a glove, if that makes any sense. So sometimes with the fortress, just because fortress are such sick quality, uh, you have to give them a little bit of a jiggle or whatever. With these, when you get to the cord, you've got to the cord and it will open like a fucking glove. All right, so Seth has tried to make these idiot proof in the fact it even tells you where to put the spacer and stuff like that if it's left hand side, excuse me. So five, seven, let's have a look. Four. Excuse me, six. Woo. Four. So then I'm gonna load that key up. Okay, so I've loaded that up, make sure I'm fucking right. Five, seven, six, four, six, four. Yeah, happy fucking days, okay. I'm just gonna put my spacer in. Put that in. Let's see. Let's have a look, see, shall we? Tighten it all up. Looks nice. Looks sexy. Have a little go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking 007. Why one big first read? I won't be much of a trainer if I didn't know that. So, we've got that out, right? So, what we're gonna do now, we've actually got to the call. First fucking read. 007 style now, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this space around and actually complete the chord, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna make up the full key. So my next pin will be a seven. If I can get the fucking nails in there. Next pin will be a seven. And my next pin will be a five, okay. Now I'm gonna show you the importance of this, especially if you've got a key cutting machine. This is like fucking printing money. Uh, 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 uh. I don't even know where my pin is. One second. All right, so tighten that up. Hopefully I've got a complete key. Let's have a look. Like a glove. I'm gonna test it from the other side. Like a fucking glove. Right, so what we're gonna do Come through, come through, come through. We're gonna offer this up and you're gonna see how, how precise, how precise this uh, decoder is, right? So I'm gonna offer this up to my key machine, all right? So let me just set that in a little touch. Yeah, he'll do. I'll do a rough one. I'll do a rough one. Get a union blank, all right? So I'll offer that up, all right? Might not be the finest cut key I've ever done because we're Trying to do this quickly. So hopefully you're gonna see the potential. It says, turn your machine on separate. So here we go, boys and girls. All right. Fucking time. I've probably cut a lot better keys than this, but just trying to show you guys. Last one, go to the end. There you go, that'll do. So off you pop. I'm just gonna give this a little fucking file down, just a quick one. Not the straightest cuts I've ever done, but who gives a shit as long as it fucking works. So, that's that, that's that. Okay, so, come through please, come through. Yeah, not the neatest cuts, but who gives a shit. So, I've cut a key there, let's have a little test. That's not fucking, there you go. Not the nicest key, but obviously you can see what I'm on about, okay? So, yeah, I've got a few burrs and stuff to clean off that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, 
The point is, obviously, take the time cutting the key, that basically, if you have the decoder kit, you can decode one of these locks, and right with the try and replace, okay, because the unions are off the top of me, they're about 35 quid for even us to buy. So, for the price of a few blanks, which obviously you can have in your decoder box, you can open the lock for them, saves all the carpentry work, relever the lock, all right, so obviously you wouldn't give them the same key, basically you open the lock, change a few levers around, build up a new cord, cut the key and charge exactly the same. So there you are guys, there you are. That's the potential. And that's one of the reasons this is one of the most important decoders out there. All right, take care, dream big. Hey!